everyone, this is Leslie with Color Art. I'm back, I've been off for a little bit. I'm back to do a simple swipe. This is a swipe I did um, a little while ago, and then I was testing to see what would happen if I wanted to do resin on top of, on top of uh, the paints. A lot of people have been curious about putting art paint in the resin but I find that you get this really gorgeous metallic look. I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up. Um, almost like a decro glass look under resin. Uh, I admitted my first few pieces I got pitting, but I finally learned actually it's sandwiching Liquitex varnish in between the paint with the silicone and uh, several coats. I need to do a short video showing you how to do it, but in the short term, since I brought it up, varnish goes one direction, left to right or right to left, however you want to do it. You let that completely dry. Then the varnish goes top to bottom. Don't go back and forth with the brush. You want to go one direction, one direction, almost like when you're doing crackle. What you're doing is you're creating like a weave. You're weaving the varnish one way and letting it dry weaving the varnish the other direction, letting it dry. Weave the varnish again another way and let it dry. I did three on this one and I got beautiful glassy resin. Let your paint cure four to seven days <clears throat> on the base paint that you've swiped. Let your varnish cure for two to three days so you know it's good and hard. And then you can apply your coat of resin. And yes, this actual color combination I'm going to use can be duplicated. Uh, this I somehow got a little tape in the resin when I did it, but you can see by using the same color combination it came out beautiful. Now the extra metallic-y color that you're seeing in here is called Orange Pearl. It's actually an interference copper we have on our website. And anybody watching this video, if you place an order here in the next, uh, what's today? the 12th, it's the day before Mother's Day. So between now and uh, let's say the end of the month and put in the notes, shipper notes, that so you want a free bottle of the Orange Pearl, we'll send it to you with your order. Just make sure order's over $50 and we'll send you a free bottle of it. But I'm gonna show you how I got that look in the center, a real transparent interference color that it swiped over and it gave me this beautiful, beautiful shimmer in the center. So. This is actually a controlled swipe that you could do. Now, if you're not familiar with our products, if you're new to us, um, <clears throat> you can actually buy our Vivid Enamel, would be the acrylic paint you would use for uh, paint pouring, but you'll save money if you're comfortable with the idea of mixing your own paints. Now, we don't recommend putting huge amounts of pouring medium in it. You don't need to. We want the color really bright and pretty. But it starts with a dry pigment powder in the medium, and it's a, it's a better value to actually get the jar. And this is a real small bottle of medium. We started with four ounces. We didn't even sell this size anymore. We now have a 32 ounce bottle that's the best deal. And of course, I have a big tub of it. I'm going to apologize, I don't have the big bottle. So for me making my uh, mixes up today, I was working out of my big bottle. But you that don't want to mix your own paint, you have a choice to buy the Vivid in 56 different colors or do what I'm doing where I've mixed some of my colors up. This first color, and let's screen in, scroll in, is Guatemalan green. It's going to look really green in the camera, but it is actually a gorgeous, gorgeous teal. You saw how it looked on that swipe, but there's one thing I've learned about the camera. Greens photograph blue, blues photograph green. Teals are the hardest one to get them to show up actually in the camera as a teal. So I'm looking at this and it is pretty, pretty uh, green, but trust me, it's one of the prettiest colors. A uh, green teal is Guatemalan green. Our blue teal is teal zircon. I didn't have any here. What was in this container, my three ounce salsa cup, was two ounces of the medium and one teaspoon of the powder. You don't have to make that big a batch. Uh, one of these jars holds 
I'd say about four to five teaspoons in it. I do really tiny batches with only quarter teaspoons. So, uh, but I'm going to do a couple of these pours, and I wanted to have a slightly larger batch. But it's two ounces of the medium to one teaspoon, or one ounce to a half a teaspoon, or a half ounce to a quarter teaspoon. Okay, it mixes pretty well. The best they, the best way to do it though is you want the medium on the bottom and the powder on the top. That's the best way it's going to dissolve. Um, to make this into paint for paint pouring, I, we only add a dash. I have, I'm using Liquitex pouring medium. If you're familiar with the bottle, Liquitex pouring medium. Um, we don't use 50% or 80% or all those mediums. I can't understand why we're using something that's $32 a quart and mixing it 50% with paint that might cost nine to $10 a quart or $12 a gallon. You don't need pouring medium to make a pretty pour. You just need a little extra pouring medium in ins as insurance. So when you add water to your mix, you're not losing the acrylic structure to your paint. I'm adding a few drops of water till I get the correct consistency. A lot of you haven't seen me mix in a while. I'll try to do this quick. Unfortunately, when you're mixing the water and you have to do it a little at a time, you want to let the acrylic base and the pigment swell to accept that paint. I guess I shouldn't have. I left myself with a few colors to mix up for you to show you how you do it. Now the consistency, I just want to make this video short though. I'm having problems with my computer processor. Last video took 12 hours to upload, so I'm trying to keep them less than a half an hour. We'll see how good we do. So a little bit of water, a little bit of water. You want it to flow off the stick like a cream, but you don't want the flow to break. Okay. Uh, another one of our colors, I've got sunflower in here. It's a really bright yellow, but it's in an antique gold. Again, same mixture, two, two ounces of the base. Look at that color, it's gorgeous. It's gonna be beautiful in this swipe underneath that black and turquoise. Now the sunflower is absolutely gorgeous. Little dash of Liquitex pouring medium. Just a dash, a few little drops of water. Don't want to bore anybody with the mixing, but if we have new people that have subscribed and not have seen the older videos where I do this, you guys can just fast forward through this part if it's not interesting to you. But you see how little pouring medium I'm actually using. And I don't use Floetrol only because Floetrol mats the color. It also extends the drying time and I don't need my pores to take that long to dry. But I realized there, the whole movement, many people moved to Floetrol when we had the shortage of pouring medium. I just don't use much either. I use a little bit of water and a little bit of like a teaspoon to a mix just to guarantee there's acrylic in there. So there's the sunflower. Okay, we're just gonna Freshen up. This color is called Ginger Peach. It's a dark, dark orange with a gold metallic in it. I have a little bit of some sunburst yellow, more of a brighter yellow. This looks like this needs a little bit of water in it. We're going to do a swipe. This is not going to be a dirty pour. This is a swipe. Wow, still kind of thick. I thought I added some pouring medium to that, but maybe not. See how pretty metallic it is, but it's still just a little bit too thick. So that's sunburst. This is the Guatemalan green you already see mixed up. I just wish it would come off more turquoise. Oops, there's a little yellow on the side. Okay, here's a darker turquoise called Mystic Blue. You can see the powder sitting on top. Watch that powder get mixed in into the clear medium below. Wow, 
Wow, look how dark that looks in the camera. That is, it's a deep turquoise, but it's coming out as a really dark blue. It's crazy how the camera plays with that. Little dash of pouring medium. See, not that much as you think. Not as much as everybody else is using. A little bit of water. A little bit more water. Mystic Blue, this color is stunning. Oh wow, I still need more water. It's still too thick. I just want it to flow off the popsicle stick. It doesn't need to be runny and watery, but I want a nice creamy flow. I want the paint to move when I swipe over it. Okay, and this I've already mixed. This was about an ounce to two ounces of the um, Vivid Clear Medium, this stuff, and uh, about a teaspoon and a quarter of the, that orange pearl, copper pearl. It's really, really pretty when you use this. I'm going to add this last in that one section on the top and let the black swipe right over the top of this and all this color will run into the other colors. So this one I added a little bit more pouring medium. It's, it, it is, I think I put two teaspoons in here. I wanted the pouring medium to really make this run into the other color. So that's a special effect. So this is my Sorry about this, canvas. <laughs> Slight technical difficulty there. All right, so this is a, I think this is a 12 by 24. Maybe a little bit longer canvas. Okay, I've already got my thumbtacks on the bottom so they don't step, put the thumbtacks in the corner so you can lift it up and move it around. You're not gonna have to stick to the table when you put the paint down and uh, remember, we're going for this combination. Now, it's obviously this is a little bit longer. One thing I've also learned from watching other swipes is sometimes if you want a secondary color, you can kind of wrap another color up this way first and then come down with your main swipe. So we're going to try that other than I kind of like how these colors are changing. I just want it to keep going down and maybe going back to the turquoise and you know coming back to another layer of orange so I'm kind of confused which way I want to go. All I know is I know this light stuff right here is going to be right in this area here where the black can swipe over the top and the green goes into it so um, let's just see how she rolls. So on this top part. I do like working with squeeze bottles, but I moved everything to mixing cups to make it easy for you guys. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot. I didn't put my silicone in anything. such a excited hurry to do this video. So I've been having some problems with my vision. So I want to uh, knock some stuff out this weekend for you guys. Okay, so I've got my uh, treadmill oil right here. I'll do a close-up for the bottle in a minute for you. And I'm putting in about three to four drops in each one of these cups except the black. The black has no silicone. All the rest of them do. I want my colors here to resist this black because the black is swiped over the top. So, only thing I'm going to have to do is mix it in. Now, uh, the more or less you mix it, the bigger the um, patterns can be. So I'm going to try to be very careful and not take too much of your time, but I also don't just want to slop this on. So I'm going to kind of, kind of do a zigzag 
pattern with his green. I think I'm going to also give him a shot of some some of my stuff that blasts in. I have the uh, silicone spring from WD-40. I just want a little insurance. I have enough in there. swipe forever. This actually feels good to do. Kind of making it go up. Now I'm going to leave a gap in here for this other color, transparent color to get in. But in my original here, looks like I've got a little turquoise happening in here that the red ran into. And it's so like the turquoise started first, a little bit of the turquoise started there first. Um, you can see as the pattern continued down, we brought the turquoise back in here too, which is what we're going to try to do. So I'm going to take the lighter, this is the Guatemalan green, Sorry I get quiet, I'm just kind of moving the paint around. Then we're going to go in with this ginger peach. I think I have some more in a bottle if I need it. Guys, this is just kind of a, a no think, just feel, kind of go with the color, kind of move here. Um, I'm adding in some of that brighter yellow. It made a nice little bridge to the next bit of green, the turquoise in that smaller piece where the orange kind of bred into the bright yellow. Now, for the darker mystic blue, this still feels a little thick. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to it. Mystic blue, that's this color. It's a little bit darker. Gosh, the camera makes it look like a really, really dark blue. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's a dark turquoise, which I'm hoping when this yellow bleeds into it, it'd be kind of pretty. I'm trying not to put too much paint on here. I'm trying to put just the right amount of paint on the edges here. Okay, now. Let's see how much more ginger peach I've got in this cup. I got a little bit poured off in another little cup just in case I run low. The orange is really the star of this thing. It's a uh, ginger peach is a brilliant gold burnt orange, but if you thin it down, it gives you these beautiful buttery orangey yellows. It's actually a Really pretty color. Now here's where I'm going to put that sunflower, that more antique gold. I know, I'm 
just slopping paint around. But sometimes these are the best ones. I just feel like I've ignored our paint pouring fans for too long. This color is sunflower. Just to remind everybody if you didn't get it. Actually, I think I'm going to do a little bit of green right here. Guatemala and green in here. I'm kind of putting the stick up and down because I don't just want straight lines. this whole starting edge up here with just this green. So I'm also going to add some Guatemalan green up here. Do this a little bit different than that other one because some of these swipes, you don't want that big old starting thing of just black. That's not the point of this. We want some pretty, pretty colors. Okay, so here's what we're going to do with this um, interference copper it's called copper pearl orange pearl on our website we're filling in this area here first that I left open wow this is so stunning oh my god that is so beautiful and I'm going to kind of let it run down hopefully you can see that run into those other colors I'm going to also, since I have enough here, add some here, kind of let it also bleed down. Remember I put about 50% pouring medium in this because I wanted this to really run into the other colors. I know it looks crazy on the camera like this white milky stuff, but trust me when it dries, it is so shimmery and so gorgeous. And my only regret was I didn't have more on those little pieces when I had done them. Now a little bit more here. I'm just going to add it all the way through, kind of dribble the rest of it on. Because it's insanely beautiful when it dries. Sorry for the silence there, just for a second, I'm thinking what I'm going to do next. Okay, I just want to make sure that all this paint is nice and smooth before I swipe. It looks like I have a few holes here in this Guatemalan green. Now I'll probably paint the sides black after this is done. In hindsight, I wish I painted the sides black first because then the color that would run over the sides could be part of it, but we'll see how this comes out because this paint's not that thick. This on the bottom is actually looking like it's drying just a little bit. Okay, so now for the fun part. I've got to move all these cups back. Give me a second. I have my paint in a squeeze bottle 
but when I just tested the tip, my black paint, I just tested the tip. <clears throat> it's not coming out that fast, so bear with me. My swipe material today is acetate. I can't find my smaller one. This is actually a big piece of plastic acetate that came on my um, jelly plate from the gel press people. Um, and you're going to find a lot of packaging you get has pieces of acetate. A notebook cover would work. The reason why I use this, and I know a lot of people are starting to use cloth and using paper towels, is I can actually apply the paint to this and not necessarily have to apply the paint to the canvas, if that makes any sense. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to do is make sure... See, my bottle's not pouring in. It was just a few minutes ago. I don't really like using uh, uh, cups for this part. You really want to have a squeeze bottle with all your black in it. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to do a close-up right here. Sorry for the slight segue. Okay, so just where the black started to run into that pearl. You see what's happening to the black? I just wanted you to see that because you may not be able to see that after I do that swipe. So I'm still making sure I'm going to completely coat at least this end with black with a bottle. Oh, not how I wanted to do this. Sorry guys. I got a little tiny paper cup and I'm gonna pour some of this off in it because the head of my squeeze bottle is just not working, it's stuck. So and then I'm gonna put a little bit of black on the edge of my acetate, just a little. I'm doing it off the canvas, just I don't want to pour extra black on the canvas. Actually, I don't know if you guys can see me do this. Okay, see my thing? I'm putting a little black paint actually on the acetate. See this? This kind of keeps me from having that running head start of everything black. Okay? Now, out of the way. This piece is a little bit big. I'm going to flip this over, make sure that edge is on there, and gently drag. Yes, I have paint on the back side here. I'm going to do my edges with the paint. Try to make them stick. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, oh God. Thank you, God. I was really hoping and praying for a good one. Okay, I'll let you see in a minute. I got it while this paint's here on these edges. I'm going to do all the edges around the canvas. Oops, I accidentally got it in. The paint, I didn't mean to do that. Wow. I'll try to get some of this paint. Wow, how do I do that? I got some paint. I have a palette knife, maybe. I have my palette knife here. I'm going to try to scrape some of this paint. Of course, I did it the wrong direction. Scrape some of this paint off and put it on the edges. Not that I can't pour more paint over those edges. OMG. Give me a second. I've got to find a place to put down this messy swipe piece. Look at this. Oh, I'm so happy. I can't stand it. Look at this. Okay, I gotta be a good girl. I'm gonna put my top in the black before we do anything. I don't want to dump any of this paint over. 
my god I want to do a second one now now it looks like some of the black mist in here so I don't know if any of you guys have been playing with the string paintings and maybe this looks a little risky you see how here it looked like the swipe actually missed in here and the swipe actually missed in here so somewhere around here I have a little piece of shoot I don't want to mess with that maybe what I could do is just take my palette knife my small palette knife Really, here is the only part I'm worried about. If you see up real close, you can still see the marks of the paint that I put down with a popsicle stick. But I don't want to mess up the rest of this. So, do I do it with string? I'm going to take a little black paint on my palette knife and try to swipe it over it. Okay, and right here is kind of the same thing. I got a little black paint on the back of my palette knife. You can see that. I'm just going to try to swipe it right over here. I know you're probably thinking, oh, she's ruining it. Maybe I am. But <clears throat> I think I can tilt it back and forth. And I can manipulate it enough with a uh, bamboo skewer to, uh, incidentally, I forgot to show you this piece. I know we got another one in the camera, but this is another color combination. This is actually the piece that's on the front of the Color Play Facebook uh, paint pouring group we've got. And it was uh, a dirty pour with a bunch of blues and a little bit of yellow. I swiped over it because I didn't like it and then also did the resin top. So pretty excited about that. Okay, well it's changing right before my eyes. I don't know if we really need to um, use my torch, even though I know we want the whitest cells possible. I'll see, see another little area here that looked like it kind of got missed. So, and then I'm just going to take a bamboo skewer, do a little mini swipe in that section. So that'll kind of repair that. Now, see where I just swiped and getting all these wonderful patterns. I hope this camera shows you how metallic -y this is. You wouldn't believe how much this thing is shimmering. Those colors are amazing. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking right here. Let me see if I can turn the lamp off. We're getting a little bit of glare from the mica. That's not the lamp. I need to find out which lamp is causing this. No, it's not that one. It's probably, there we go, it's that one. Okay. So you see the colors in there? The stuff that's looking light and abalone shellish, that's where all that copper pearl interference, I think we're calling it orange pearl in our site, that, that interference copper mixed in and it's causing, oh, this is beautiful, exactly what I wanted. I didn't want a big giant black start. I wanted to have some nice black veining. Uh, like I did on the top of this, but I can't stand the swipes that I've done in the past where almost one third of the canvas is black before the color gets started. So um, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's see if I can't get another close up for you. I'm glad I had my thumbtacks on the bottom. See how that kind of looks pinkish and goldish and copperish? This is just absolutely stunning, guys. Okay, well, I'm Leslie Onstead.
we just did a quick swipe with primary elements mixed with the Vivid Clear Enamel from ColorArt.com. We use Liquitex Pori Medium. I used some treadmill oil. I used a little bit of my um, WD-40 yellow and silver can silicone spray. Um, the only two colors that are not in the um, color art line is this neon green. This is an Artist Loft neon green and the Artist Loft black both thinned down with just a little bit of pouring medium and water to the correct consistency. Hope you enjoy. Have a great day. Bye-bye.